Okay, we have another integral from MIT Integration B 2018. This is problem number 12. This is more like an integral that you learn in school in like your um, Calc 2 class or your first integration class. So the way this goes, this is very similar to the integral of just tan squared. Notice, I just want to emphasize we have the, this is hyperbolic tangent squared, but it's not much harder. Let's go over the, quickly the identity we can use to transform this. So similar to the ident identity we have, um, sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. For the hyperbolic trig functions, we have cosh, hyperbolic cosine squared minus cinch, hyperbolic sine squared equals one. And then if we just divide through by cosh squared on this, we can get what we need. So if we divide by um, the cosh squared here, we're gonna have one minus cinch over cosh is gonna be tan squared x, and then dividing by cos here, we're gonna have hyperbolic secant squared x. And then with just a little rearranging, we have this that we can use, tan squared equals one minus hyperbolic secant squared. Okay, and this is the one I wanna use for our integral. So now that we've rewritten this, we see one is something that we know how to integrate, and then hyperbolic secant is actually, the integral of that is actually just hyperbolic tangent. So this is going to be x minus hyperbolic tangent x plus c. And then you might be wondering, how do we know that the integral of hyperbolic secant is this hyperbolic tangent? Uh, we could just, it's really from, no, my method for this is just knowing the derivative, and we can look at that real quick. So the derivative of hyperbolic tan, tangent, so we can write hyperbolic tangent as hyperbolic sine over hyperbolic cosine. And then we can differentiate this just using the uh, quotient rule. So the derivative of hyperbolic sine is gonna be cosh. Then we include the um, denominator. So we have another cosh, this is just gonna be cosh squared minus hyperbolic sine, because we're keeping the numerator and then we get the derivative of the denominator, which is just gonna be another hyperbolic sine. So we get the sine squared. Then we just want the bottom squared. So we'll have hyperbolic cosine squared. But then we can come back and use, we already have this identity from earlier. That tells us that this whole thing is just one. So we're rewriting this, we have one over hyperbolic cosine squared, but that's just our hyperbolic secant squared which is what we wanted to show. MIT Integration should be 2018, problem number 12. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.